Hello again everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be going through dynamic and static verbs. So the objective of this um, lesson is to identify dynamic and static verbs. Let's begin. So a dynamic verb is a verb that expresses a wide range of actions which are usually physical. So a dynamic verb is a verb that expresses physical action. And we all know that a verb is a doing word. So a dynamic verb specifically will express a physical action such as jumping, running, talking, singing. Dynamic verbs can add energy and excitement to any text. They can imply that the author is more interested in action rather than reflection or thinking or contemplation. So they're used specifically to show something that is physical and that can be linked to the author. Right, so look at this picture and we're going to look and see how many dynamic verbs. Remember again, dynamic verbs are specifically physical verbs. And this will be very helpful when you are annotating or analyzing a text and speaking about the writer's use of words. So instead of saying, oh, the writer uses the verb jump, you can then be more precise and say the writer uses the dynamic verb jump to express the physicality of the action. So that's how helpful it is to zoom in on what kind of verb. So let's look at this picture. We can see um, a dog and it's running. So that's a physical action. That's a dynamic verb, running. We can see sweeping. We can see climbing. Um, we can see walking. We can see um, that boy looks like he's skipping. Um, the man has a whip and he, we could say maybe he is whipping the horse. Um, the man is driving as well. Um, that's physical. Uh, we see shoveling, we see digging, we see um, throwing. So all of those verbs are physical verbs. And so they're dynamic verbs. What is a static verb? Now a static verb is different to a dynamic verb. A static verb expresses states of being or processes in which there's no obvious action, right? So static verbs are not really used as commands. For example, a static verb to know, to believe, to remember, to realize, to supposed to appear. They're almost abstract forms of verbs. Um, the use of static verbs suggests that the author's interest lies in description, whether it be of setting or states of mind, hence the abstract um, nature of the verbs. Also notice the examples that I've given are examples of the infinitives. So to know, to believe, to remember. Um, those will help you when you're thinking about static verbs. Okay, so how did you do today? Tell me in the comments below if you think you have achieved the objective, if you now can identify dynamic and static verbs and use them in your responses. In your responses. As always, thanks for joining me in this tutorial and I'll see I'll see you in the next one. Bye!